Hey guys, Bohemian Magic Justina here, and um, I just wanted to do a quick before shot of my little altar space here that I'm going to transform into a beautiful money abundance success altar. Um, I got some stuff today that I showed you in, the, in another video with all cool stuff and my awesome bamboo plant that I can't wait to put on there as well. So here is my little space, as you can say, my homemade I decoupage. It's starting to come up a little bit here. <laughs> but um, here's all the stuff I have on it right now, which I have some money that's already on there, kind of as like an offering or whatever. Um, candles and a little Buddha on there and this is well I'll get into that after um, I get all my stuff set up but this is the before and I just wanted to show everybody what I had on there before I transform it so you can compare and see how it looks after all right so I'm gonna sign off and let my battery charge a little bit before I start um, Re redesigning it. So I'll see you guys in a bit. Okay, so here's kind of the cloth that I put on top of this altar thing. Um, I kind of put a piece of felt down first to just kind of be the placeholder. And then I put over this sheer piece of fabric. And I also put some back by the wall too, so it goes between the wall and the dresser so it doesn't pull up the paint on my wall again. So. Wanted it to go over the sides and stuff. Um, I wanted to use a dark one, but then I wouldn't be able to see all this cool artwork on top. So, which this is all done by an artist named Tisha Moore. I just kind of collaged all her stuff onto my dresser because I love her artwork. Um, so she does a lot of journals and mixed media stuff, which I absolutely am obsessed with. So there's how it's going to be set up. Um, and now I'll start placing my items onto the counters. Be right back. Hey everyone, it's me, Bohemian Magic Justina here. I'm just trying to clean out some stuff today. Um, I was feeling in a bright mood because, as you can see, it's kind of gloomy outside today. It's raining. Which, I actually don't mind. I like it. I like the rain. I think it's calming. I had my incense going before. I'm about to light another one. That went out. And I know I posted a video the other day about my abundance altar. And I wanted to show you guys really quick. Because here's what I have going on. Um, I put some basil on here. Which I plan to put inside my altar candles which I'm going to uh, try to do a video on, on that as well. I have my burner here with um, this is my little incense candle drawer. Um, I can't find the one that I put on, put on. Where is it? The one I have burning right now is Fairy Dreams. It's not this camera doesn't focus. Um, fairy dreams. So, that's what I have burning right now. Um, I have a Ganesh, which is the Indian elephant god 
He's the remover of all obstacles. So, I hope he'll help me with some success. I have my success candle. I think this has cinnamon in it. I actually got this from a little, little witchy shop. And it came with a little success spell as well. So, I hope to do that soon. Then I have my little citrine. And let's see, what else do I have here? I have my red jasper. My howlite. This is supposed to help with insomnia. And I get really bad insomnia when I'm up all night thinking of ideas and brainstorming and sometimes my mind just doesn't shut off so that's supposed to help if you put this under your pillow that's supposed to help with insomnia and it's also supposed to um, enhance or actually do away with procrastination it's supposed to enhance motivation and this one as well and the citrines are just for success so that's why I put those on here and I have some change on here. It's kind of an offering to <laughs> to my little altar here. Um, here's my bamboo plant with my elephant on it. And I kind of, I think this is kind of synonymous with the Ganesh, the elephant head. The remover of all, all obstacles. And there's a lot about elephants that I was looking into. Here's also a little wooden elephant from Thailand. My friend brought me back that from Thailand when she went. Um, so yeah, here's my little altar. Here's a little obsidian statue I got from uh, Cozumel when I went to the Mayan temples there. We went to Tulum, which are really cool Mayan ruins. And um, obsidian, I think it's a stone of transformation. I just saw like a little, uh, a little full moon ritual about that. And I charged all of my stones under the full moon the other night. It was an Aquarian full moon. And it was gorgeous. I took a lot of pictures and some videos. And uh, this is my grandmother's flower from her funeral. And that's just a reminder that she's always watching, always guarding, always here in spirit. And here is my bowl of moon water, which I want to bottle soon. This is the water that I cleansed my stones in under the full moon. So, I just wanted to share all that with you guys on this beautiful rainy day. And I have my little sitar playing because I just think it's really peaceful and calming. And look at this disaster area. <laughs> it's a wreck. And I'm really trying to clean and get organized because when it's not clean and organized, I can't think at all. And I can't, I feel like I can't create in this space, which is what it's made for. I'm supposed to be creative in this space. And I can't be creative in this space if it's always a mess. It just makes my mind like, <sighs> so that's what I'm doing now. I'm trying to clean everything out. And I just organized this whole drawer. This, used, this, this drawer was filled with all this crap that I have to go through and kind of decide what I want to get rid of, what I want to keep. And whatever I keep, I have to sort it and, you know, put it where it belongs. Not just kind of throw all this junk in one drawer and have it just be random and I never know where anything is. So, this is all just kind of office supplies. I have all my paper. I have some hanging wire for my picture frames. Erasers, erasers, thumbtacks, tape, little paper clips and stuff, staplers, paper, scraps. Stamp kit, stapler, ink, tape, blah, blah, blah. So you get the point. So I kind of just uh, organized that. Now I have to kind of figure out what I'm doing with this mess over here. <laughs> um, so yeah, so that's pretty much it. I'm trying to get some more storyboards done. I don't know if I told everybody, but I'm working on a children's book for someone that I really need to get more stuff done. And I can't do any of that until all the stuff is kind of in a neat place. And all of these are art pieces of art that I plan to sell 
that I just have nowhere to put right now and it's kind of really influencing my inability to kind of get my shit together. So with that, I'm gonna go finish getting all this crap situated and I'll catch you later and have a great rest of your summer because it's going by really fast and have a beautiful rainy day if you're in New Jersey. <laughs> Bye!